Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Okay, the news as far as locks go this week. Uh, this is something new that I've got to tell you about these locks. It's, it's not really this week, but I was waiting on a bit of confirmation and um, so far I've been able to confirm it from a couple of sources. So we'll go with it. Uh, looks like it's going to be what's going to happen. Things might change, they might not. The nice people who make this lock here, those lovely people, uh, they make this lock, the 3400 uh, mortise architectural mortise lock and the problem is that it just doesn't fit in 20 footprint. Any locksmith out there who's on the tools will, would know this. Uh, we've got many words for this type of lock, none of which um, I'm going to say because a few people have said uh, you know they don't like me swearing and things along those lines so I'm going to keep it nice and clean. Anyway this particular lock right here this is one I just got off the job the other day this is the box that was left over because whoever took it off the door butchered it they massacred it so I went straight to the shelf got one in stock and we have to have a couple in stock because if ever you're in the situation where you need to replace this mortise lock you're going to find out that oh they've put the cylinder in the wrong spot Every standard mortise lock, I mean I could be talking about a carbur, a lockwood or the new lockwood, any of them, they've all got the cylinder at the top, but these people decided to put it down the bottom. Okay, and then they switched the handles around. Okay, if that wasn't bad enough they made the bodies a different size. Okay, so when you go to fit one into the other, you've got to work out that you can't screw it in, you've got big voids on the side, so they've pretty much stitched you up. What that means is it means you just can't swap fit to any other mortise lock out there on the market, any other stand footprint. I've gone over that in previous videos. Uh, what's worse is they take a particular type of cam. I think it was I spent about $500 getting the cams when I um, did have an account, and that's the other thing about these people, they, uh, they refuse to give me an account. Um, I can purchase off them, but it's a, a big, big song and dance. I signed up for an account, I had an account, signed up for an account, was on their website. Uh, many customers wanted their products and we just could not get them from that company. We had to go through a different company uh, to actually order. So very, very frustrating, big thumbs down there. Anyway, we still can get um, some products, but it's gotten to the stage now where we don't supply any hardware or anything from this manufacturer because it's just too hard. Recently they changed uh, ownership, I think it was about a year or two ago, they went from um, the brand that they are, which is this brand here, this brand here, they they moved, they were part of a, an umbrella company, was part of another company, and then they sold that and now it's owned by another person, and then the rules kind of changed as well. So anyway, getting back, that's just a bit of background. Getting back to it, these locks have been out there for a long time. A lot of people have had a lot of troubles with them failing and reordering and all those sorts of things. As you'll find, none of the big suppliers actually have them on the shelf. And you'll go to their websites and try and find it and you can't actually find it. So uh, you'd have to special order through your supplier uh, for the Gainsborough 3400 and that's if they can get them. And I don't believe they can. I've put in a request now uh, through our suppliers they don't have them. I put in a request direct and I've been told and here's the here's the shock horror news we no longer make it or we're not, uh, no longer selling no longer make it so I can't order this anymore and the supplies can't order it anymore and that's just brilliant whoever came up with that was you know I don't know what they're doing but what that means for us locksmiths okay well what that means is now we have a footprint indoors in buildings that we service that we can't swap over to a standard lock we can't order this as a replacement lock i asked them what what are we going to do and they uh, showed me pictures of a i think it's um a leggy a leggy 99 uh 990 which is probably very similar to this boyd or so it's basically the standard footprint so i said can you um can i get four or five of these they said no we're moving over to the leggy, this one here, which is not going to do us any good. The new lock, the cylinders at the top, the handles are down the bottom, as standard as it always is. So basically, you're out. Of, we're we're out of action. You know, there is just nothing we can do here. Have a look at this, one on top of the other. You see the differences there. You see the screw holes here. It's just not going to work. So they've pretty much stitched us up there. I've invested, I think, 500 bucks just to have the cams in uh, my in uh, our office and also in the trucks that we can go out and work on these. And now they're going to become. Um, Oh, we'll still use them because these locks are still out there but when these locks play up now and um, I, I get probably 
two, three a month that play up, I can't order this lock because they don't no longer sell it. So if Gainsborough, if you're hearing this, you came up with it, you invented it, you put the footprint in the door, don't leave us hanging and don't leave us all out there with um, you know putty having to repair these, these shapes of holes because you're no longer wanting to continue making the product. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair on all the building people who decided to take on you know installing a thousand of them in a thousand door building. I just think it's ridiculous. So I'm not particularly happy with that. So that's the news on Gainsborough uh, 3400 mortise lock at the moment. As far as the other faults and problems it has, it has faults and problems like many other locks. I won't go into them. I've done a few small videos on them as well. And being a locksmith, you probably already know or seen or come across some. So I had one the other day. I had to change the cams, change the functional lock to get it to work. Um, because, yeah, everything was just wouldn't make it work. Even tightening the handles too, tightening the handles tight made it bind up. All sorts of problems. But I just want to just want to let you know first that we're going to be moving over to these type of locks and there's not going to be anything well to my knowledge anything on the market especially not from the manufacturer for this shape or size to go into the doors so big big issue there for um, us locksmiths who are out there needing to swap fit these over so that means if you go to a job in the middle of the night and they've got one of these and it's playing up and it's their only lock on the door and you can't add any additional hardware or anything like that to the door because it's a strutted door they just want the same lock repaired and fixed you're going to be you're going to be in a tight spot very tight spot just like the rest of us right so that's the that's the update on this particular lock leave your comments down below if you know something i don't or if you've got something more to add to the equation please leave it in the comment section below i'm just putting it out there because it's better than um, each individual locksmith getting jammed up on a job site thinking oh i'll just do this or just do that and then you work out you can't it's obviously going to be a problem in the future and it's going to be something that uh, something that i believe the manufacturers are going to have to work around i mean if the lock was no good you simply just come up with a new version of it. I mean, take for, take for example the Lockwood, the old Lockwood, the new Lockwood 3572. Okay, they improved the design, they changed the design, sure. But I mean, I could interact any of these locks. I could interact that lock right there with the older one. I could probably even use the cams. It's only recently they've started going over to new cams. Same footprint, same size. You know what, I could even take this Lockwood and put it in place of this Boyd. Or I could take this Lockwood and put it in place of this Lockwood or this Boyd. Because they're all the same size. The Everything's in the same spot. You know? No problems. Oop, there we are. See? No problems. I could even take a carber. Take the carber one here. I'll show you the carber. I could, in, I could interchange that too. No problems. Stainless steel body. Nice lock. I could interchange that one. Everything's exactly the same. I could even use the same handles, probably use the same cams. I could even use the same cylinder. No issues whatsoever. But now, now this has happened. I can't interact that with that. And um, there's no equivalent. So I'm in trouble. And I was very thrown back when they said there was no, the nearest equivalent was a standard, standard body, standard shape with the handle and the cylinder in the right spot. I was dumbfounded. So uh, from the emails that I got, that's pretty much what I got. And I was just thinking to myself, how, how could this be? What are we meant to do as locksmiths now? Uh, how are we meant to repair customers' doors? Because it's not the manufacturer that looks like a complete ass when they're sitting on somebody's doorstep in the middle of the night and they can't get their lock to work. It's not them that has to tell the customer, look, you're completely stuck. I mean, the customer wants a reasonable outcome and if they've got one of these on their door and it's a large footprint, how else can we put a small foot, a small a lock with a small footprint in that spot and expect them to understand why we're puttying up the door and doing things along those lines? When they look at the finish and we've had to putty it and all the all the extra messing around you know it we either make it look nice or the customer looks at the work and says oh that looks terrible compared to what i had and what are we going to do so that's uh that's the problem with the 3400 at the moment that's the latest news i've got on that one uh, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think thanks for watching